In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix an issue with the Microsoft Store, not updating or installing games or apps. So as you can see on my screen at the moment, I am currently trying to install Roblox, but I'm just getting a spinny icon that's not allowing me to do anything. So the first thing you need to do to simply resolve this issue is close down the Microsoft Store. However, we are going to do this through the Task Manager. And to do this, all you need to do is right click on the Start Menu icon, and you then need to select Task Manager. You now need to find Microsoft Store within the Processes tab, and we are then going to click onto the Microsoft Store and click onto End Task. Once you've done that, that has now completely closed down the store. You can then go ahead and open up the store again. Once you have the store open, now go back to the app or game that you were trying to install or update, and you will then either be able to click on to install again or update. As you can see, I can now select install, and it's now spinning again, but this time it's saying that it's actually downloading, and straight away you can now see that it says play, which means that resolved the issue on my computer. If that didn't fix the issue for you, then the next thing you need to do within the Microsoft Store is select Library. You then need to click on to Get Updates, and you then need to click on to Update All. This is now going to update all the games and apps that you have installed on your computer through the Microsoft Store. Once this is finished, go ahead and try and update that game or app again and see if this resolved the issue. You should be able to update the game or app through this way as well. If you're still having issues, then the next thing you need to do is close down the Microsoft Store. And this time you need to right click on your Start Menu icon again and select Task Manager. And you then need to click onto Users. And you now need to ensure no other users are currently signed into your computer. If there is a user signed in, select the user and you will then see sign out in the bottom right hand corner here. You need to click on to sign out, but just ensure they don't currently have any work open that they need to save as they will lose it once you click sign out. If you did have to sign out a user, go ahead and launch the Microsoft Store again and see if that helped resolve the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and you then need to click onto apps and features. You now need to click and search this list and type in store and you now need to select Microsoft Store. You then need to click on advanced options and you then need to scroll down and click on terminate and you now need to click on to repair and this is now going to repair the Microsoft Store. Once this has finished, go ahead and restart your computer and then launch the store again and see if that fixed the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is click on reset and this will now delete all the apps data for the Microsoft Store. So if you click on to reset, restart your computer once this has finished, as soon as you've got this tick here, and then launch the store and that would have hopefully fixed the issue. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing to do is just ensure that you actually have enough disk space on the drive that you are trying to install or update the game or app on. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then hit that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.